Xiaomi this week said it would hold a launch event in Beijing on May 15, but declined to give details or comment further. The sources could not confirm whether the tablet would be unveiled at that event. And the four-year-old Chinese company, which reached the No. 5 spot in its home market in the final quarter of last year according to Chinese research firm Analysis is a standout among China's crop of emerging smartphone makers that are expanding the market with lower-priced products. And they are also creating new opportunities for parts suppliers in Japan, including display makers Sharp Corporation and Japan Display Inc., as they bolster their offerings of high-specification features to compete with global brands. Xiaomi lists Sharp as a display supplier on its website and the sources said Sharp would make the displays for the Xiaomi tablet. And Xiaomi scored a hit last year with the Mi 3, its flagship smartphone that sold 100,000 units in 90 seconds when it was released online in October. Its low-cost Redmi handset has also sold strongly in China and was recently launched in Singapore. And Xiaomi, which is more than doubling its sales every year with plans to sell 40 million phones this year versus 18.7 million last year and 7.2 million the year before, has cemented its reputation in the expanding high-end Chinese smartphone market to compete against the likes of Huawei Technologies Co. Limited and Lenovo Group Limited and following the March launch of a 5.5-inch screen, Fablet. Xiaomi will next release its first tablet, fitted with a 7.9-inch screen and has already ordered parts, the sources said. It will likely be called that MyPad, they added. And Xiaomi, which was founded in April 2010 by entrepreneur Lei Jun, is among a host of young homegrown handset brands in China that also include Oppo and Coolpad. And they are now looking to expand abroad after winning over Chinese consumers with advanced features at lower prices than comparable handsets from Apple and other well-known brands. And, reporting by Paul Karsten in Beijing, Reiji Murai and Sophie Knight in Tokyo, editing by Edmund Clement and Mark 